Hey, fo- Hi folks, uh, Thomas here with a quick review here of, this is a wireless car FM transmitter um, I got from Amazon. Uh, this is by uh, Sabund and um, um, this is the, the boxing unboxing and I'm going to do some things here. Um, actually, this is the um, my second one um the first one i purchased back in 2018 and from the first time i had it it i fell in love with it it was a good good machine and uh, <laughs> i guess i must use it so much that uh, about six months ago it um it stopped working and i had to get a new one but i've been putting off the, the purchase um, because I've been using other things like a Bluetooth speaker and, um, and it's been cumbersome, but what I like about this product is that it's easy to use. It's fun. I have it right here in my console. I have a 2004 forerunner, uh, with, uh, good speakers and it, it, and it does pump out the sound. Some people say that it comes out mono, but I haven't had any problems with it and it works fine. Um, there is a charger and there's two chargers with this and it does work fine with iPhones too. Um, and it's a good product and I would definitely recommend this product. My nephew showed me this product back in 2018 and I said, okay, let me get and try it. I've tried other ones, but they weren't as good as this. And um, I, I was upset that I, <laughs> I couldn't, um, it stopped working. But anyway, um, because it was old. So anyway, let's go through this anyway. So, uh, right. So at some point, I'm going to have to drop the phone because I, I got my iPad too. So let's get this out of the way. Whoa. Okay, it comes like this packaged. Um. <laughs> okay, now this is a, an extra fuse in case it does pop. There is a fuse that's in, in the bottom here. Um, and it, and it will, I guess it, it does pop and you have to replace it. Uh, so they give this extra fuse here in case you need to. Then also there's this uh, cord here to connect to your phone. Um, a lot of phones now don't have these little ear pieces anymore to, to plug in. So um, you can use it. Uh, I have an old iPad that does have an earphone plug, so I can guess I can use that. But, and then these are the instructions here. Um, they're pretty much self-explanatory, and uh, I, I kind of breezed through these before. But since I've had this unit for a number of years, I'm not going. I'm not going to um, look at this because I've, I already know what the product is, uh, so I'm I'm satisfied. So I'm, I'm not going to do that. So now I want to put the phone down for a second. Okay, this is the unit now, and uh, you can see this. Oh, it's this is supposed to be some updated one, but I can see it's an update because it's a, it's a, it's a lot smoother on the sides here. Uh, the center right here is for phone calls and for volume. You can put the channel up or channel down, and that's in terms of uh, when you're actually trying to uh, bring in the signals. Um, try to go to a strong signal if you can, because it definitely does help out. You place it in here. Like so, <laughs> it's a little. I'm gonna force it down here a little bit <clears throat> to make the connection, and you put it right on in here. 
And then what I do is I just kind of tilt it right here uh, or to the side. So it's out of the way of my uh, gear shift. So, um, but I'm going to turn, I will turn it on shortly and try to program it, which should be fine. But um, I don't want to keep this video too long. But um, this is the product that you get. Uh, I'm going to say I highly recommend it. Um, I've used other things, but this to me is far superior. So anyway, you guys take care. Bye-bye. Uh,